Hi, I'm John Storms, and today I am playing with the, what do they call it, the Baby Back Lit Snowflake from EFL Designs. So this is a Coro Snowflake, and it takes exactly 200 pixels, which is four strings of 50, which means no cutting, no soldering, no blocking out pixels, just straight up. And... Um, you know, this, it's uh, from Jackie. Of course, it has this nice cross-ribbed cross thing going on, which makes it nice and strong. And then every once in a while, you see these little places for a zip tie. And that's kind of what makes this, uh, this Coral Flakes unique, is that those are for strapping pixels onto the back of the snowflake. So it's backlit. You know how you've seen like the Philips TV and, or I forget what kind of TV it was, but they would actually backlight the wall and it provides a wash. So this kind of serves two purposes, you know, as a coral flake, but it also does a backwash. So if you have this staked out in the yard, whatever's behind it is going to pick up the light. Okay. Now for putting snowflakes in my house, my house is dark stone and it's pretty well, good, pretty good coverage. Uh, I might not get much out of it. But uh, all the same, um, it's a lot of fun to play with, and who knows where I'll, where I'll put these. I might stick these in the yard. So anyway, um, other thing I like is they got the cross ribs here, which makes it stronger. And they have a hole here. Um, and those holes are nice because uh, I'm going to use those to, uh, to help mount it so I don't have to go and drill an extra hole in my snowflake. Now, what I do first is I get the model. So... The model is available on the um, the EFL Designs website. And you download it, import it into x -Lights, and then you can go into the custom model and see the wiring view. And so what I'll do is I'll start off by going and, um, and actually mapping it out on the back of the snowflake. So, um, you know, here's the first snowflake. Every 50 snowflakes where I'm, you know, starting, ending a new string, I will circle it. So you can see that's where 200 starts, that's where 100 starts. And I like doing that because if I'm off by one, I'm never off by one than by more than 50 pixels. Okay. Um, and uh, this helps. And I also, you know, I put my name on it. I'm proud that we're assembling this. And then I put the date and I put what kind of snowflake it is. So in the future, I can uh, more easily figure it out. Okay. So then of course here is the one that's done and when you download the model right you don't just get the model it also comes with all of the sub models broken out for you okay uh, a lot of vendors do this in fact i think all the core vendors do this so this is really nice so right now i have a bar effect going across the spinner mod all and then further down Oh, up here, right there. On the backlit portion, I have a wash going between purple and cayenne. So, if you look, on the back side, I have pixels in the back. And they are alternating between those two colors. So, let me flip this over so we can, we can see the wiring. Okay, so here I got power and data coming in. And I have the pixels zip tied into those little holes and on the outside ones i'm actually thinking about flipping them over and around because these are pretty close to the outside and you know at an angle you might see them but for for what i'm doing i don't think it will matter but anyway there's exactly 200 pixels there which is really nice um the connectors uh, i haven't finished these off what i do is after i get the connectors on i take dielectric grease, especially for the ones that I'm always going to leave connected, might as well. And I, I coat the, um, just a little dab will do you, all right? And I put it here just on the rings on this side of the, well, I put it pretty much over the rubber gasket and start on the rings. And then when I tighten it over, it kind of fills in the, uh, the threads. And that gives you a nice, uh, nearly watertight, uh, connector. And I'll do that for, for all of those uh, to make it a little better. But here you can see the pixels that are on the back side. Again, this is the unique part of this. So let me flip it over so you can see. Let me turn the lights off. See that? 
So, uh, 200 pixel snowflake, which for uh, a 24 inch snowflake is pretty high density. Uh, and I have a lot of snowflakes about this size. So if I go and grab one of the snowflakes off the wall, and I've got a whole wall of them, right? So this is my Boscoyo snowflake. And you can see that's also 24 inches. And the typical Boscoyo 24 inch snowflakes, at least the older ones, not the newer ones, but the older ones had uh, 48 pixels, right? So, you know, right here I have 4x the density in, in terms of pixels. Now, um, there is diminishing returns that the more pixels you have, you know, the difference between, you know, 50, you know, 1 and 50 is a much bigger impression than 50 and 200, but still, it's going to make quite the splash. Um, so over time, I want to go higher and higher density. And uh, this is this is a really good flake for that. So you can see it looks awesome. And let me turn off the bar effect here. Let's go into X lights and just turn that off. I still want that going. See, and you can see that it's, oh, this is everything. Oh, I don't want everything. So. I want this to be the backlit, so let me scroll down. Actually, you get a pretty good view of all the models as I scroll this down. So, spin mod bottom, it goes through all the different arms, the tips, just the tip, tip center, notch center, brightness mask, and then uh, now we got the backlit circles. I'm going to backlit all. Okay, so now I got all of the backlits. So here, and actually this would still be a pretty cool effect, is where you got the snowflake dark blackened out, but you got the colors washing it from behind. And you can see on the table there, I'm actually getting a pretty decent wash effect now the further the snowflake is away from something the better wash you get so if i pick this up all right and get it close to a wall i wasn't planning on doing this if i thought about it i would have cleaned up a little more you see you can even see on the wall there you're getting some color but again didn't plan for that so it's a bad demo but anyway um and you can see the lights shining through the coro a little bit right so it's not going to be like completely blacked out but it gives you kind of a neat mask effect so um and it has this uh, cool backlit uh, look to it so anyway uh looking forward to put it on the house i think it'll be a lot of fun and i got two of these so i'm very excited